think it's fair to say that the Rocketbook system is one of the most streamlined experiences for scanning and archiving your physical notes in the cloud. With their high contrast borders expediting page recognition and their destination footers simplifying the storage process. So it's probably not surprising that I count on having my Rocketbooks with me at work and on the go. So recently I decided to boost their utility a little by using some cheap NFC stickers, allowing me to automatically launch the Rocketbook app when I'm ready to scan, host my LinkedIn profile for networking on the go, and to quickly share the link to snapdrop.net for file exchange, all with just a tap and for about a dollar. NFC or near field communication technology uses a small microchip paired with an antenna to quickly share information with a smart device when the two are near each other, typically within about four centimeters. It's the same technology that's employed in modern debit and credit cards to allow you to tap to pay at checkout. And fortunately, small NFC stickers like these are cheap and readily available online. There are quite a few different chips available, which vary based on security, memory, expected lifetime, and their environmental ruggedness, but for the purpose of this project, you should be okay with these 25mm NTAG 215s. I'll leave a link to some in the description below. These have an expected life of about 100,000 scans, a writable memory of 504 bytes, and work with NFC equipped smartphones. Most Android smartphones have had the ability to read and write NFC tags for quite a few years, so it's likely that yours is capable. But to be sure, you can perform a quick Google search. Unfortunately, iPhones adopted NFC technology a little later, and their capabilities vary depending on how new your device is. You'll need at least an iPhone 7 running iOS 14 to be able to read and write the LinkedIn and Snapdrop URLs to NFC tags using third-party apps, and the Control Center's NFC reader. But iPhone XS and more recent devices are preferable because they offer continuous background NFC scanning as well as the ability to auto-launch apps using the Siri Shortcuts app. Unfortunately, iPads don't currently support NFC. The application I'll be using to set up the tags is called NFC Tools and it's available on both Android and iOS. And that's all you need, an NFC sticker, compatible phone, and NFC writing application. To configure the first NFC sticker to automatically launch the Rocketbook app when scanned, we have to take two different approaches depending on whether you're using Android or iOS. On Android, we use the NFC Tools app. Within the application, find your way to the right page and select Add a Record. As you can see, there are many different things that you can configure your tag to do, but for now we'll simply select the Application option. Then. Clicking on the Android logo, you can browse the available applications on your device and choose the Rocketbook app. Here we can see that this record will take up 35 bytes of memory on the NFC tag, and we can write the command to the tag by clicking on Write and then tapping the tag. Unfortunately, on iOS, the process of launching an application can't be done using the NFC Tools app because third-party developers aren't permitted that level of control. So instead, we'll use the Siri Shortcuts application. Here you can create a new personal automation and select NFC as the trigger. This is only available on iPhone XS or newer. Select Scan, tap the NFC tag on the top edge of the iPhone, Enter the name for your tag and click OK. Then select Next and choose the action we want to trigger. Here we select Scripting and then Open App and choose the Rocketbook app. Unfortunately, because this sequence is hosted in the Shortcuts app instead of on the NFC tag, it will have to be set up on any iPhone that you want to use, so it's not as universally applicable as the Android setup. But given that you're probably scanning your Rocketbook from the same phone each time, this may not be a big deal. Either way, once you adhere the sticker to your Rocketbook, I keep mine in the middle of my orbit behind the page pack, you're good to go. Just tap the unlocked phone to the tag and the Rocketbook app should launch. If this video has sparked your interest in expanding your skill set and learning something new, you may be interested in today's video sponsor, Skillshare, which you can join for under $10 a month with an annual subscription. Skillshare's catalog contains thousands of ad-free classes that allow you to learn online and at your own pace, covering everything from animation to web development. 
Lately, I've been checking out Marquez Brownlee's YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit with MKBHD in order to get a behind the scenes look at how one of the most successful tech YouTubers conceptualizes and then executes his content. And the best part is, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. The process of launching your LinkedIn or other social profiles to network on the go is quite a bit simpler because it's the same on Android and iOS. Here within the NFC Tools app, we again go to the right section, remove any records you may have previously used here, and select the add a record button. This time we'll choose social networks, where you can select whichever one you'd like to use. I'll be using LinkedIn. Next, you'll need to jump into a web browser and navigate to your social account to copy the web address of your profile. Make sure that when you paste it, you remove the beginning section of the URL so that it isn't duplicated. Then select OK, and you should be good to write the link to your tag. I like to keep this networking tag in the bottom right corner of my Rocketbook's back cover so that it's always available during meetings. Now, when someone needs to connect, they can simply tap the tag to find me on LinkedIn. On the bottom left corner is the tag that I have set up to quickly launch the snapdrop.net website. This is my favorite universal airdrop alternative for quickly transferring files between devices over a local network because it works between any Android, iOS, Mac, or PC device without needing an app to be installed. All you really need is for both of the devices to go to snapdrop.net while connected to the same wireless network. So when trying to share files with someone who's new to Snapdrop, the simplest solution is to have them tap the pre-configured NFC tag. If you're interested in learning more about Snapdrop, you can check out my full video review. To configure this tag, we again select Write, then add a record and URL. Then we input the URL, which is https colon forward slash forward slash snapdrop.net. Click OK and write the web address to the NFC tag. Now, simply tapping on the bottom left corner of my Rocketbook will automatically launch Snapdrop to make file sharing that much simpler. The only other thing that I'll mention is that you can choose to either lock or password protect your NFC tags if you're concerned about them being overwritten. But there's an important distinction to make here. Locking a tag is irreversible, meaning you'll never be able to change the data on the tag in the future if you needed to make alterations. Whereas password protection prevents the tag from being changed until you've unlocked it with a passcode. Either option can be accessed from the other section of the NFC Tools app but personally, I don't bother with protecting my Rocketbook tags because I don't think it's necessary for this application. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.